Good morning, y'all. Well, today we're at Lake Ray Roberts. Um, we're gonna go try and find some crappie. And uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of work for my lake breakdowns as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and drop this boat in the water and go see what we can find. This is a beautiful day today. It's not a breath of wind, so let's get to it. All right, y'all, I don't know. We're just uh, just out here looking. There's a bunch of something all over this brush pile. I don't know what on earth they are, but we're about to find out. That was not the right. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to get a gauge on where these fish are at. You know, are they still spawning? Are they done spawning? What? And that's what I'm trying to... Bite. I'm kind of a little weird on this. I'm also kind of get trying to get used to this old Trex. See how good its spot lock is. Because it's almost that time, y'all. <clears throat> I mean, this thing is loaded. I don't know what they are. We're going to find out what they are. They're a little crappie. <laughs> well, skunk's out. What I was wanting to see, what kind of fish they were. A little crappie. Okay. That is very interesting. They all look pretty small, but that is good to see that there's fish on brush already. This spot lock's having a little bit of trouble. Maybe it's not. That little fish hit it hard, I will say. They're definitely a little crappie. I can just tell the way they're acting. They're just really small. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, so we are in a creek right here. I have never fished this creek in my life. And, uh, we're gonna come in here and see if we can find some spawners. I didn't know Ray Roberts has this much aquatic vegetation. I don't know if that just kind of comes and goes or what, but. We're gonna get in here and just fish around. Really have no idea. Like I said, I've never fished this creek before. Water is 65 degrees is good right here it's got some depth seven foot it's a lot uh, deeper than I thought it was gonna be it's not a very big creek it looks big here but it's not it's some shad flipping over there it looks bigger than it really is it looks really pretty though I'll say that pretty stained but not like chocolate milk which is good Ooh, that little corner right there looks good. Oh, no. It looks good, so that's what we're gonna we're gonna try. I don't really think uh, live scope's gonna help me a lot with this, but it just looks like a bush. You can see this is a tree. That's the root ball down there. I still really am not 100% sure what stage these fish are in, to be honest. Let's check out this root ball. I probably like root balls like this. This water right here, water color is perfect. Like this little bank right over here. Oh yeah, this right here, you guys, is textbook. Okay, I'm gonna back this way off. Just gonna kind of float up here. Oh my goodness, that looks like Spawner City right there. See how this bank is a little more cut? I don't know, but it sure looks good right here. 
Let's give it, this one gives me goosebumps because this one sure looks good. Back it off even more because I do not want to spook these. Oof, it's a really good depth too. Nobody's home. That's not good. Hmm. There's nobody home in this. I don't know what they're going to be in. Well, that's not ideal. That really surprised me there. But it could just be it's too much at the mouth. There could be a, a bunch of things, but I do like the looks of that. We're just gonna dip through here and cover water. Water 62 on, on the on the Garmin. One thing I'm, I'm noticing, I don't see carp and stuff everywhere. So that kind of encourages me a little bit. Golly, this creek looks so good. Look at these little, these roots coming in right here. Man, this looks good. This lay down right here looks really good. Well, there's apparently something going on in here. Oh, there's a fish. Crappy. Nice one. Oh, he came off. Dang it. That's not ideal. I'm just going to kind of let the boat drift in right here. There's the snake right there. Just hanging out. I don't know what kind it is. Looks like a water snake to me. Ooh, there's for sure one in there. I see him. Good luck, man. I appreciate it. Well, we're kind of all over in, uh, on this video. I'm trying to put something together. I'm just, I'm not real sure where we're at with this deal. I see signs that tell me we're on the back end, but then I see signs that tell me we're not. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go uh, check a couple more places. 
try to get a little bit more of a vibe and then uh, go from there. At least it's a beautiful day. We did not get skunked. That, that one was a nice one I lost just now, but that's how it goes. Those fish, when they're shallow like that, sometimes you can get a good hook in them and sometimes you can't. But we're gonna keep looking. All right, y'all, I'm checking this bridge right here. Oof, there are some fish on it. I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to see, I'm checking like spawning areas, checking post spawn areas, and uh, just trying to get a gauge on where these fish are at. There's definitely some fish right here on this column. Big. not feel very big they don't look very big either they are no doubt there <sighs> he did it Just curious to like catch one to see what size they are if they're if they're post spawn or there's some current coming through here too. All right, y'all. I think we're gonna wrap it up. I really. My main goal wasn't to film today, but I wanted to, to try and fish a little bit. Um, I think the best thing I can say is we've got fish kind of in all stages right now. There's some fish that are done spawning. There's some fish that are haven't started spawning. There's some fish actively spawning. And it's gonna be like that for a little bit longer um, until probably May. We'll still have some deep fish spawning in May. But outside of that, the, most of that shallow stuff's done with um, when it gets thin. And, it's just gonna be hit or miss. You're just gonna have to search and cover water. And yeah, I'm I'm kind of gearing up for, for lake breakdown. That's why I was out here today, just kind of getting stuff, you know, getting some, some waypoints put together and stuff like that. But yeah, it uh, we'll get there, y'all. We'll get there. Just have to be patient. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed at least getting out, just seeing kind of the main lake stuff again. And yeah, boats. So far, um, knock on wood, boat's doing great. The, uh, the upgrades up front have been such a huge, huge help. I cannot wait till, um, cannot wait till it's time to, to get out and start running trips. I've got a lot of trips in the books uh, for May, and then I got a couple in early June. So if you're interested, y'all, if y'all are interested in getting out, just uh just go to the website and, and try to book a little early if you can because i'm gonna you know slowly fill up and so like i mean if you want a trip in in june then you know here in a few weeks i would think that it's, it's gonna be a little tougher um i can't run you know five trips a day i mean not that i could even get that many trips a day but it, it's hard on me so i kind of break them up and kind of you know separate them a little bit and so Weekend dates are always the ones that go first. And so if you're wanting a weekend day, definitely reach out pretty quick and uh, get that taken care of. I'm gonna be on Ray Roberts, Grapevine, uh, may do some Joe Pool, just depends on how the bite is down there, and then Louisville. Um, so if you're interested, um, just, yeah, check out the website. The rates are, are 250 for one, 350 for two, and that's six hours of fishing. I went ahead and increased the time of fishing and I hope that helps get just a little bit more fishing in and a little more time on the water, so. Yep, anyway, catch you in the next one. Y'all take it easy.